overlooking the ocean, an eclectic mix of cottages and buildings sharing storefront space with numerous galleries. Beautiful Laguna Beach has a reputation as one of those wonderful small beach towns with unique charm and character. Since the turn of the century, many artists have called Laguna home, and a peculiar, welcoming figure has long been part of the scenery here in Laguna Beach. Tyler was very well loved by the community. We are a community of characters, and I happen to be one of them. I've developed into one of them. <laughs> I think I, I think he was kind of, uh, the greeter was kind of, um, looked upon as kind of an eccentric, old, strange man. When I was a young boy, my parents used to bring me down here, and I saw the original greeter, and he had a very long, longer beard than the greeters we have now and he'd be giving out little bottles with a little penny inside of them. And he'd give them to the kids if you walked up to him and always very friendly people. And just like the new greeter who's taken over is also has a very friendly disposition and is a nice person. Well, when I was very young, my mother used to bring us uh, from Newport Beach down to Laguna to see the original greeter who would stand on the corner and he would wave to everybody. And we got a big kick out of honking the horn and waving to the greeter. Hey, you! How do you do? Hi, good to see you! His welcoming spirit has been memorialized in paintings, poetry, and song. On a corner in our town, there's a man who never frowns. He has hair of silver gray and a funny casual way. Oh, he went down there. He was on the street corner hollering, and Eiler, you had to hear Eiler, because when he sounded off, it, was, it wasn't hi or hello. It was, ooh! and he'd point at you. And they, they thought he was crazy. Well, he may have been a little crazy, but it was a nice crazy. <laughs> Even though Eiler was the most known of greeters, he was not the first. The legacy began with old Joe Lucas. This is Joe Lucas, and Joe was the first greeter for Laguna. He was a shipwrecked sailor, and he wouldn't go to sea again, so he lived in a little one room abandoned schoolhouse where the city hall of Laguna Beach is now. And he would greet the stagecoach as he came down every day in 1880 and 1890. And uh, Joe only knew about three or four words in English and they were all cuss words. So when the stagecoach arrived, he'd holler, hi, you son of the you But they all put up with it because they realized he didn't really know what he was saying. Hi, you're perfect. Well, he's the old guy that's always on the corner of Pacific Coast Highway and Forest Avenue, waving at everybody, and got an all long white beard, and real nice guy. And I've been here since 1981. It's like 17 years. So I'm really not new anymore, but I'm still called a new greeter. Can you see that? It says, number one, unnamed Archer. I thought at first it was just a nickname, number one, but he tells me he's uh, number one of twins. He had twi another brother, and his mom had not picked out a name yet, so he was, of course, number one. His brother is number two. Archer has cultivated his own group of loyal friends and admirers who find him a welcome addition to the friendly Laguna Beach community. Well, we have a lot of colorful people here in Laguna Beach, so uh, he's just added to the more colorful elements of Laguna Beach and uh, I was happy to see him myself and he's always been like I said a very nice person always treats people with a lot of respect and that's pretty good. I, I don't think everyone under you know a lot of people don't understand him you know and so they might look at him a little funny. Most people smile and it makes them feel feel a little better about themselves. I think he really just gets the same amount of pleasure just waving to somebody as they go by and giving them a little bit of high in the morning while they're going on their way to work or something. So he's just really neat. To be honest with you, when I saw him, I asked myself, what is he doing? You know, there are a lot of people who they don't know when he greet them, you know, what does it mean? And, uh, but I got used to it and I find out what a wonderful thing to do. You know, he's standing in the door of this town and greeting people. 
by his charm and saying hi to them. He waved his hand, go like that, and he go like this, and he go like that with both hands. Number one likes to call kids fragments, meaning children are beings that copy others, but speak for themselves and grow from their parents' example. Good looking fragment. Number one archer doesn't limit his contact just to those he encounters on the street. He's increased his chances to have a positive impact on others by going online. That's my email address. You can send me an email. If you find it unusual that somebody like the greeter, who uh, to some passers-by might look like a hobo, uh, you might find it strange that he has a web page. It's not really strange at all, since a majority of people, I think, now in Orange County work on the web. I think 97% of the businesses have, have use email. So he's very a typical Orange Countyan with his own web page. Perhaps the tradition of greeting is a reminder of intimacy and community that was characteristic of early Laguna, an era when you knew your neighbors, when there was time to stop on the street and chat. Today, as you make your way through crowds concerned about deadlines and destinations, rest assured, in Laguna Beach, the greeter will take the time to notice you. And what you do out here, you do it out of love. You love of doing it.